So, as I say, welcome, welcome back to you. But we wanted to ask how Ozzy is. He's had a bit he, of a health scare, hasn't he? Oh, he's had a really tough year, really. Um, it started off with flu, which went to bronchitis, which went mm. to pneumonia. He oh. was hospitalised, came out. He was, you know, well on the road to recovery. And he gets up in the middle of the night to go to the loo. Freeze. As do we all? Yes! These days. And on the way back, he tripped up on the carpet that was under our bed and fell against the corner of the um, Ooh, night word. table, which is made of mirror. But every day he has to work with a physiotherapist. Physio, yeah. Yeah. There's been a lot of pain. Terrible pain. Oh, no. And his pain is... He's not good at being at home. He wants to be back on the road, back mm. on his tour, yeah. back with his band, and he's pining. Mm. And he's... It's really the challenge is not his injuries, it's yeah. his yeah. state of mind to keep him yeah. positive and, like, yeah. working. I mean, you're mad. Is that why you're mad? Is that why you're here? It's like, where's me this? Where's me that? That's not right. I've asked you for my tea. Is the tea coming? And you're like, shut up. Because it's funny, because everyone always thinks about Ozzy as, like, the, the well-documented old days, you know, of the drink and the drugs. Is there a worry with him that, with painkillers, because of his addictions, you know, that because they're sort of like prescription He's meds, been, aren't they? He has been... Is off all of that. He had to have it after he was operated on the last time. But now for pain, he has that CBDB, whatever oh, that CBT. stuff is. That's it. And all CBD. Whatever. <laughs> it's, a, it's an ABCD. Uh, <laughs> yes. And um, he's dealing with it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Bless. And how's Kelly? We had her on the show. We, 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 did, we yeah. loved it when she came on as a panelist. She's so smart and funny and bright, yeah, like a mama. Sassy. It's just, just so great for us to see her back doing yeah. what she loves to do because she's had like two or three years off getting her life together. Mm. No more shaved head. <laughs> <laughs> no, she looks great. And how's Jack? He's good. He's really good. I mean, he's as divorced. Three babies, seven, nearly four, oh. and one. Oh. Wow. And so the kids go between the mum and, and you him. love being a grandma, don't you? God, I... It's yeah. like... It brings sunshine into our house. Yeah. And when mm. they're there, it's like... It's what it's all about. And, and everything that goes along with a with a divorce and heartache and pain and the arguing and the making up, it's just... About the kids. Yeah. yeah. And are you an yeah. indulgent nanny? Do you give them sweets when they're not supposed to have them? I do everything. Everything. <laughs> and if they say nanny, I teach them <laughs> because Jack and his ex wife are always like, well, what did you eat? What did you do? And I say, what goes on at Nana's stays <laughs> <Yay>! at Nana's. <laughs> Amy's good. Yeah. She's she's come over here with me, and she's she's really good. good. Yeah. Now we were all looking at. So Sharon came into the morning meeting without a shred of makeup on, and we were all like that because yeah. she looks so. so I mean, beautiful. you look amazing now, but you also look amazing without makeup, which mm. we don't do. We? No, we oh, don't. Please. <laughs> <laughs> that's then not she, true. And then so we're telling you how great you look, and then you said you're going you're going under the knife again. I am. What have oh. you done this time? <laughs> It's like servicing a car. You can't keep doing it and doing it and not going for a little, But there's you know, nothing wrong with your undercarriage, wrong. Sharon. Oh, oh there got is. got lovely undercarriage. I've got these lines here and I'll, I just need it. And they do this new operation now where they cut you here. Because as you get older, have you found, ladies, that your lip seems to yeah. drop? Mm. Yeah. And yeah. it's a longer space between your nose and your lip. <laughs> Stop it, you know it's true. <laughs> so I've got this long gap, and what they do is they cut you here and then they lift it up. Oh, oh my word. So you're seeing things I'm not seeing. No, I don't see. And I'm going to have one of those bums fitted. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Bum fitted. I love that. Fitted. <laughs> One of those big old pear-shaped bums. <laughs> how, so how are you with your mental health as well? Because I know you've had a tough couple of years. It's, to be honest, Jane, it's like I've been on um, antidepressants for, oh, my Lord, it must be 23 years, and different medications for my old head. And it's like 
I can't live without medication because I become... I won't get out of bed. I don't want to talk to anyone. I can stay in bed, like, three days, mm -hmm. don't wash, don't do anything, and it's like... It's like, mm -hmm. stop the world, I want to get off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, have you tried coming off? Is that what happens when you try coming off? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I... Um, three years ago, I had a, a very bad time in my life, and I just thought, I'm going to bail, I can't take it anymore. Oh, I no. just can't take the pressure. And it's not just me, many people feel that way. And what stopped you? Um... My husband found me and took me to the hospital. Oh, Sharon. Oh. Were your kids cross with you? Um, yeah, they were cross, yeah. yeah. Terribly cross and heartbroken and frightened and everything that goes with it. And I have to tell you that when I was in treatment, there were two girls whose mother had committed suicide, two separate girls, and they were in treatment with me. And the damage that was left for them... Yeah. I would never do it again. Yeah, good. Yeah. We're so glad to hear you say that, because we, we love you, Sharon. We do. <laughs> now, listen, we, we, we can't have you here without talking about X Factor. Oh, um, yeah. Obviously, there's been, there's been <laughs> rumours abounding. Um, are, are you going back to X Factor? No, I mean, nobody's asked me, but um, no, it, it was a part of my life that I absolutely had the best time, met great, amazing people, had the mm. best fun, was naughty, had a laugh, you know. <laughs> but um, that part of my life is gone. Yeah. And you can't go back, so I have to, have to move on for yeah. myself. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've, obviously, you, you, you found her, but we've kept her. Um, we've got, obviously, <laughs> a, a loose woman who was a previous X Factor yeah. contestant who you actually oh. mentored on, uh, on X Factor. We love Brenda. And she was really gutted that she, she wasn't in today, obviously, when, yeah. when you were here, because she's so fond of you. So she sent a little message. Have a look. Hello, Sharon. It's me. How are you? I'm sorry I can't be on the show. I'm gutted I'm not on the show with you today. I miss you, I love you, and I thank you for picking me, as always. You are fabulous. Yes, darling. <laughs> Yeah, she is. Yeah. And it was interesting what you were chatting about earlier, weren't you? You were saying the thing is, X Factor gives people this. We think about the winners, and it's yeah. not about. Well, you were saying it's not about the no, winning. It's, it's not. about people it actually having a career. Out yeah, it. I mean the people who are truly talented do go on to do the thing that they love, which is mm. entertain. Mm. And look at how far she's come. Yeah. I mean. Mm. You know, yeah. she's in, in she the theatre in London, yeah. and it's just amazing, and it's great to see her. Yeah. Ozzy and I just adored her. Lovely. Lovely, lovely.